In this presentation, we will study octal to decimal conversion. Let's say this is the octal number 0, 0, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 are the digits of integer part. These are the digits of integer part. O minus 1, O minus 2 are the digits of fractional part. And this is this is octal octal point. And this point is the reference point. When we move from right to left, we will have 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on as the positions. And when we move from left to right, we will have minus 1, minus 2 and so on as the positions. In order to find out the decimal equivalent of this octal number, we have to multiply this coefficients, this O0, O1, O2, O3, O-1, O-2 minus O minus are the coefficients of this octal number and we have to multiply this coefficients by their weights. So let's start with it. I will multiply O0 by 8 raised to power 0. We are multiplying it by 8 raised to power 0 because base in case of octal number system is equal to 8. So I will multiply it by 8 and raised to power 0 because the position of this coefficient is 0. Now I will multiply O1 by 8 raised to power 1. In the same way I will multiply O2 by 8 raised to power 2 and O3, O3 by 8 raised to power 3. Now we will move to fractional part and I will multiply O subscript minus 1 by 8 raised to power minus 1 and O, o subscript minus 2 by 8 raised to power minus 2. And in order to get the decimal equivalent we have to add them. So I will add them and the result is the decimal equivalent of this octal number. Now we will move to first example the octal number is 57.4 this is an octal and we want the decimal equivalent of this number we will follow the same procedure I will multiply this 7 by 8 raised to power 0 then I will multiply 5 by 8 raised to power 1 and then I will multiply 4 by 8 raised to power minus 1 solving this we have 8 multiplied by 5 is 40, 7 multiplied by 1, 8 raised to the power 0 is 1, is 7, plus 4 by 8. We can write 8 raised to the power minus 1 as 1 by 8. So we have 47 plus 0 0.5 or 47.5. This 47.5 is in decimal and this is our answer. Now we will move to second problem. Second problem. The number is 4507.44. This is an octal and we want decimal equivalent of this octal number. We will repeat the same process. I will multiply this 7, this 7 by 8 raised to power 0. This 0 I will multiply by 8 raised to power 1. 5 I will multiply by 8 raised to power 2 and this 4 I will multiply by 8 raised to power 3. Now we will move to fractional part. 4 multiplied by 8 raised to power minus 1 plus 4 multiplied by 8 raised to power minus 2. Now we will solve this. 8 raised to power 3 is 512. So 4 multiplied by 512. 5 multiplied by 64 plus 0 multiplied by 8 plus 7 multiplied by 1 plus 4 by 8 plus 4 by 64. 4 multiplied by 512 is 2048. 5 multiplied by 64 is 320. 0 multiplied by 8 is 0. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. And we will solve this. I have 1 by 2 and 1 by 16. So we have 8 plus 1. 2048 plus 320 plus 0 plus 7 is 2, 3, 7, 5 and 9 by 16 is 0 0.5625. This will give us 2, 3, 7, 5, 0.5625. This is in decimal. So the decimal equivalent of this octal number is 2, 3, 7, 5, 0.5625. Now we will move to homework problem. I have two homework problems. Homework problem 
in first problem you have to find decimal equivalent of this octal number 601 and in second problem you have to find decimal equivalent of 107.02 this is in octal so basically you have to do the octal to decimal conversion in both these problems once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this presentation see you in the next one